Recent advancements in AI has bettered incredible tools that could help in creating quality designs in a matter of minutes. So today, I'll be looking at a new tool called Microsoft Designer from Microsoft that incorporates Microsoft AI Copilot and OpenAI's Dall E to help create stunning images or stunning designs. I'll be using this tool to create a poster for a skincare brand while showing you step by step on how to use the tool. At the end, we would see how it stacks up against one of the popular design tools, Canva. So let's dive right in. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Zini and welcome to Zini Studio. So as the designer, you come to designer.microsoft.com and it brings you to this page. You could click on sign in to sign into your the designer if you already have an account or you could join the waitlist. I'm not sure if the waitlist is still ongoing, but I have a link in the description that could when you sign in, it takes you directly to the designer itself so let me sign in and once you sign in it opens up at this page so on this page you can see how clean and non-cluttered it is so by the left here you see a box that allows you to, to type in your prompt of what you want to generate you could add an image or you could generate an image yourself if that is what you want to do and then at the right you could see some templates that have been generated already and if you hover around it it tells you on um, the prompt that was used to generate that image but if you want to start on the blank canvas you could do that as well you could click on a blank canvas or you could close this and it opens up to a brand new canvas but i want to use a template from here just to show you how the copilot works as a microsoft ai so I'll click on this. It's going to put in the prompt for this, but I'm going to modify it a bit because we want to create a skincare brand that will be launching September 2023. So let's say an announcement for my new skincare brand launch called. So I'll put in a name. Called Zini Cares on September 10th, 2023. And we will not add any images. We want to see what it's going to generate for us and click on generate. And here it's going to work on the background to generate some templates. And let's see what it created. Okay, so it created a couple of designs in line with skincare. So you could see this. So in terms of the sizes, you could click here to choose any size you want. If you don't want um, portrait, you could change it to square and landscape. So let's look for the one that we want to use. So let's see if we could use this. So we click into this and click on custom mice design and it's going to open up the main designer interface. So just to explain what's going on by the right is where we have the co-pilot that also gives you different ideas of the different designs if you don't like what you have and here we have templates media visuals text and brand kit i'll be explaining this as i walk through the design okay so the next thing is let's see if we could find some templates that we could use that is more um nicer than this so i could say templates Okay, and here I will type in skincare. And then it gives you some options for skincare. And one good thing about Microsoft Designer is once you choose a particular template, it still maintains the words that you have put in because it understands what you are trying to create. Modify this template the way we like it. So what we're going to do next is we want to change the image. So how do you change the image on a Microsoft designer? You click on the image and this would appear at the very top. So to replace this, you could click on replace and go to image gallery. And automatically it starts showing you things relations to skincare. So we have this. So let's see where we click on this. and it replaces this and it starts giving us other ideas of how this can be shown 
so we could leave this the way it is with there's no one here that i like so i'll leave it the way it is but i'll i'll manage or change the colors so i'll click here on the colors and the good thing is if you click on inspire me what it's going to do is going to take colors from the pictures and start putting different colors for you which is really cool so i'll put it click on inspire so we have this click one more let's see if we could get something that makes sense this is not bad or you could choose the colors yourself from the photo if you want so let's see if this is going to be darker this brown okay let's see so let's make this light and then let's make this dark so we make this dark a bit and we could change this a bit let's see if we could make it darker okay yeah i like how this looks this looks really really cool okay you could move the pictures around you could change how it looks in terms of the filters and lighting this is just perfect so now that we have made the images look nice now let's show let me show you how you could change the text and play around with it so once you click on the text itself here at the right it starts giving you different um Font designs that you could try to see if you like any and also you could use the word inspire and it could inspire you but if you want if you know the font you want to use you could always change the font yourself let's use the same inspire and see how what is going to generate it's going to generate something cool or we have to do it ourselves i don't like what is generating that much so i'll just type in a font that i i know already Okay, so I like the Anton. So here you could decide to make it centered or left aligned or right aligned. Let's see if we make it this. This looks cool. So push it down a bit. I like that the date is white, so we'll leave it the way it is. So I really like this design. It's very clean and chic. If you have your um for instance your handle, you could put it here, down here. So let's see if we could add a new box or we could duplicate this one and we will bring it down here and rotate it so here to rotate unless it did this to add at zini cares you could always make it smaller depending on what you want So as you're designing, it keeps generating different ideas if it's not something that you, if you want to change what you're designing. But we are very okay with what we have here, which is really cool. So next, for instance, let me show you a couple of other features. Then we could go ahead and download this image because I like how it looks. So for instance, if we don't like any of these images that it's giving us and we want to generate it, we go to visual. As you could see, there's generate. There's photo there is graphics and there is video so the library is not as, as extensive as canva but it has some cool um images so here you could click on generate and here we could type in would say skincare products And it's giving you suggestions but let's just say skincare product and it's going to work to generate the images for you using the um, ai okay so once it's done generating it's going to upload it to what is called media so you could see some of the images that it generated if you want or like this you could always use it if not you could let's look at this it's not that clear so let's just use the one we have if not you can always um regenerate those images then we'll click on the logo that i want to add for instance and make it smaller let's just make it small and i'll keep it here this is just to show you an example you could always use something proper Okay, so that is how you use um, the generate image if you want to generate the images yourself. 
Then another thing I want to show us is the brand kit. So here you can decide to set your brand kit yourself or even use one that is already pre-set here, depending on what you want to do. Okay, so now that we have generated this and it looks okay, we like how it looks. The next thing is to download it. So you click on download and you could do it in two ways. You could download it as a PNG or you could sign into your um, Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn, depending on where you want to post it. And you could post that image directly. Okay. So for this tutorial, we'll just download it as a PNG. So I'll just click on PNG recommended. You could see it doesn't have so much features. It just has PNG, JPEG and PDF. So we'll leave it as PNG, remove watermark and click on download. And it will download the image for us and then we'll let's open the image and see how it looks so it's opening okay so this is how the image looks it doesn't look bad at all for the size and what we want to create it for it looks really nice okay so some my thoughts on you know microsoft designer so i would say that First of all, what I like about the designer is how clean the interface is. It's very clean to use. It's um, not that confusing. I also like how intuitive this is. So if you're changing templates, for instance, you notice it keeps what you have, the text. It doesn't replace it that you have to start changing the text. So I like how um, that is. I also like the fact that it gives you the opportunity to generate images yourself and you could replace if you don't like any of the images it has provided and some things that i feel that you know they would have to improve on or they still in works would be the limited um graphics library so when we go to visuals you could see that the graphics are so limited and not so much um you might need to use other platforms to get graphics if you want to use this then another thing would be i haven't seen anything about how to use this commercially so in terms of um, using it to create digital products, I'm not sure about this yet. You could use it to create personal projects or um, posters for your social media platforms, which will be okay. And then um, in terms of its functionality, I would say that it's still limited when you compare this to Canva. When I say limited is in terms of the sizes. So for instance, if I want to change to a particular size, so let's say with size, you could see that it has just limited sizes. It has quite a few, but if I want to have like a custom size, I can do that because it only has like a preset dimensions that you could use. So these are some of the things I like and um, don't like about Microsoft Designer, but overall it's a good tool and you could, you know, try it out and play around with it and tell me in the comment section, you know, how you found the tool and if it's something that you would want to you know try going forward so if you find value in this video and in the videos of my channel please be sure to like subscribe and put on your bell notification to know anytime i post a new video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one